Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. All right, let's jump in here. Let's get this mess out of the way. I want to look at our new buildings folder for a minute and see where we left off. So the apiary we still have to work on. Beehives or us is in, so that can go. Hatchery I am done with. Um, that's a house. Okay, yeah, this I'm done with as well. And I think this house is in as well. So we have the apiary to deal with today. But before we get started on the apiary, I'm going to jump in to the prairie map real quick. Uh, let's grab, let's crack this map open real quick. I can find it and I want to grab the barn I want to get that the area right there by the beehives taken care of in the animal dealer knock that area off Let's see if we can get a few things um, picked off of our list today Ah, uh, cool, we're not that far. Let's just fly over to here. Oh, I want to grab this guy here. I don't think I need... Yeah, I don't need the whole thing. I just need the barn. Is that all I need? Uh, actually, no. Let's put you back down. Let's go file, export. We're going to grab the barn. And then we're going to grab one of the straw heaps. Yeah, we're going to grab one of the straw heaps. So file, export, we're going to grab the straw. And that one, yeah, we have one. And then do I want, let's grab the silo. We'll grab the silo as well. That's all I want out of this map. So let's... Alright, so barn... Brought the textures over. The silo... Brought the textures over. And the straw brought the textures over as well. Alright. So we have our beehive production here. We're going to put some more landscaping and trees and stuff around here as well. And I think we may extend this road a little bit so you can drive around the building. So let's take care of that first. Let's, uh, yeah, because I want you to need to be able to just drive around the building, just in case you want to drive around the building. So let's just pull. And actually, I could probably pull. No, we'll just do a little. I'm just going to extend this road back just a hair. So let's go back to square. Let's grab our plate real quick. Not that big. So I'm going to extend this around a little bit. Now we're going to extend it, I think, all the way straight back to here. Tie it in. And it doesn't have to be perfectly square. Right, let's go to subtract. We are. Let's get rid of the grass. Uh, wrong one. Over here. Let's get rid of the grass. All right. And then we'll get some landscape. We'll get some more landscaping and trees around here. Let's finish. Uh, let's get these guys. I'll probably repurpose this pole. So let's get this guy out of the way. And then 
these are all going to have to get moved. What are you part of? You're part of the animal dealer decorations. All right, I'm going to just keep one because they're all they all have to get moved anyway. And we'll just put a couple back. So let's grab this one, slide this one out of the way for a minute. Put you over there by the light pole. All right, so now this is going to be the barn cell point. I'm going to make it just part of the same property. Uh, let's close that a second. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to make this part of the same property. So let's go file, import, we'll import the barn. Let's, yeah, we'll import the barn. So let's go edit, cut, and paste. get her spun. Uh, which way do I want her? Let's go this way. And make sure it's just touching the ground. Alright. Because this is going to, we're going to put the salt point inside. Why does that look a little bit smaller? Don't know why. Yeah, don't know. Right, let's go file, import, we'll bring the silo in. Now we'll throw the silo next to the barn. It just looks good there. And let's grab the straw. And then most of this will actually end up like into the ground. But I think I want to flatten it out a little bit more if I can. Um, it is probably not going to let me. I think that's as flat as I'm going to be able to get it. Yeah, I think that's as flat as I'm going to be able to get it. Push it so it's sticking out a little bit. Oops. Push this so it's sticking out a little bit. And then let's put, let's get the light and we're going to slide her back over. I'm not going to pile too many of these up. We'll just throw a few by the door. Get a few of these in. Alright, 
now we're gonna I'm gonna have to spawn the cell point back in so where is look at our items XML and I want to look at where is the cell point for our wool wood chips wood Where's the cell point for our straw? Your Walmart. I could have said, okay, selling station bales. All right. That's the one we need to mess with because we have to move it. Valley placeable selling station, selling station bales. So, Valley placeables selling station. Selling station bales. Alright, so that's the path. So file, import, placeables, selling station, selling station bales. Alright, we're going to have to move these triggers. Exact fill root. Bail trigger. All right, let's get these guys slid over. And sort of in the middle of the barn. Now, let me go down on my speed a little bit so I can try and get these triggers adjusted. It'll pull them up just a hair since we're sitting on top of the straw. Alright, now let's look at our coordinates. Yep, they're changed a little bit. This guy. No, we're still at okay, now we're at zero zero zero. Alright, let's save that. Are we at zero? Yeah, we're at zero zero zero. Alright, let's save that. Let's take this guy. It was selling station bales, right? Yeah, selling station bales XML. Let's I, let me just double check that XML. Make sure I got the right i3D. So selling station bales. No, you're using selling station new too. So it's not that. So let's delete that out. That's the wrong trigger. All right. So we want. Let me come back in here. Let me close this uh, prairie map. So selling station bales is using selling station new i3D. So placeable selling stations. So we want um, placeable selling stations. We want this one. This is the one we, I am looking for. All right, let's spin you this way. Yeah, there we go. So back to minus 90. Okay, that looks much better than what I had. Now, do we have to pull it up? Actually, we're going to go in and test it. So let's fix our coordinates back to where they were. All right, beehives are awesome. I'm done with. Let's shut that. Which 110 are you? You are Ritchieville. Let's close that. You are fill types. Which map are you? You're the valley. Okay, we can leave that one open. All right, back to items. So this has to go back to minus 90. You're 
you're back to just 150. Alright, let's save that. Alright, that should be much better. Alright, let's delete that out. Let's save the map. We're going to test this trigger really quick. Make sure it is working properly. And then that's, we get some landscaping done here and then we can get this off of the to-do list. Let's, which mods folder are we on? All right, we're on the correct mods folder. Let's test that cell point real quick. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. I spent like 10 hours playing Evo Space. Alright, let's, so let's jump into new save game. I need to go back to Google and see where this picture is in real life. If I can find it again on Google. I think if I go back to the free wallpaper section, I might be able to find it. Matt K, good morning, old man. One or two. Hope all is going well on your end. It is going well on my end. Is it going well on your end? We're getting near the end of this map build, ready for testing, so it is going really well on my end. Let's grab some speed, let's grab some cash just in case we need it. I don't know if we'll need it, but let's grab it anyway. Let's throw on our FPS counters. We're keeping an eye on that. We're going to get ourselves a... Now, I think this one's pallets only, so let's grab... I think this guy takes bales. Let's grab this guy. Let's grab a truck. Uh, this guy. And then let's jump over here. I think this guy takes bales. I don't have my mods folder updated. This is just my test folder. I don't think it has all the latest. Now, are you. Can I put bales on here? I can't. Let's grab ourselves some, uh, where am I at, wrong one, bales.
and we're going to test this trigger. So we need large square bales. Oh, you're going to make me work for it, are you? There we go. Um, yep, I'm so ready for this map once finished and tested. I know, so am I. I may have to change up my YouTube series. I may have to drop maybe either Banished or Factorio to do, um, I'll keep the Ritchieville series. I may do a Ritchieville series, a Ritchie Valley series, and then I'll still keep Banished and Automation Empire. Uh, let's test the triggers. We'll finish the landscaping and then we'll get something else done on our to do list. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so cell trigger is going to work. Is it showing up on the map as the barn? It is. And then we should also have... Uh, let's take another quick peek at the map. So we're going to have to buy this property real quick. And we should have the triggers now for the beehive production. Oh, that needs a sign. That definitely needs some signs. All right. All right, so beehive production, there's no air, so that should work as well. Now let's get out of here. Not going to spend a lot of time in the map today. We're going to spend most of the time in the editor today. Hi, right, so we definitely need some signs. So let me grab... That one's a lit sign. I want a sign that's not backlit. Let's see what we have over here. Um, express personnel. That one's backlit. I want something that's not lighted. Let's come up here. Let's grab this guy. Uh, let's go File, Export, uh, Valley, let's just go New Buildings, or do I want to go to Signs? Let's go to Signs. And let's go uh, Beehive. Alright, let's take a, see if we can't get a Beehive sign made real quick. I swear I had one. Um, actually, I may have one. Let's take a quick peek at that file first. So let's go to Ritchie Valley. Uh, signs Beehive. You are pointed to station. I think, right? Now, new buildings textures. All right, so signs, new buildings textures. Yeah, we're going to cut you out of there. We're going to move you back to here. Uh, it's already in there. So this can get deleted. So textures, station. All right, let's go to, let me pull up. No, I don't want the new version of paint.net. All right, let's go back into. Uh, I swear I had a sign made. I'm going to go back into the prairie map for a minute. Uh, placeables Global Company. I thought I had... Alright, there's the aviary. 
Did I not have one for the beehive production? Are we not making beehives on that map? We may not be making beehives on that map. Yeah, I don't think I have anything pre-made for beehives. Boathouse, blueberries. AP, oh, that's right. AP area in there does not take beehives on the prairie map. All right, let's go back to, let me look in the hollow map real quick. Placeables Global Company. Uh, nothing for beehive production. We have the apiary. I guess I have nothing for beehives. Uh, I really like the way you set up the buildables. Yeah, the buildables are going to be like super fun. Beehive, beehive, beehive. Nothing for beehive. All right. Hi. Right, let's go to my favorite Google images. All right, we want, let's see what we can find. Beehive clip art. I swear I made a beehive. Uh, let's go wooden beehive clip art. There we go, now we're getting closer. Let's find something that's like not too cartoonish. Something that looks similar to our wooden beehives. have you've got a watermark that one that one has a watermark I may mess around with the sign off camera you don't have a watermark let's go copy You're going to be, I'm going to have a hard time shrinking this one down, I think. Uh, yeah, let's just start with a blank canvas. I may mess around with the sign off camera because this thing's going to be really hard for me to shrink down. unless it shrinks down really easy. It usually messes, the, no that's not actually, I think that may work. Actually may work. Let's take another quick peek here. Uh, do you? Uh, what are my chances? What are my chances? Mm 
maybe good. Uh, copy and yeah. All right. That may work. Now let's go. Let's see if we can grab like one of these greens out of the grass. We can. Uh, quick brown fox. Let's start at like 28 font. Oh, uh, why am I not getting any color? Why am I not getting a font? Nope, I know, I've got, let me close that out. All right, let's go back to text now. Beehives are us. And I could probably go up to 36 font, yeah. So beehives are us. File save as beehive. Let's grab that guy. Let's close Google down. Let's change this to textures, beehives. All right, let us jump back into here. I want to go file import beehive. And let's come up here. And I don't want to put it there. Let's come up here where we were working. Yeah, this will work. So let's go edit, cut, animal dealer decor will work. Paste. And we should have... Yeah, there we go. Go to zero. And what are my chances of it not looking stretched? Let's go out just a little bit further. Like this building was like repurposed and its signs were changed. That, that'll work. Do we have any kind of foliage texture? Okay, so we got bushy bits along the mountain. All right, that works. Let's change some of this up a little bit. Let's go with... Oh, wait, are we on? Let's go to round. Let's come down here to... Oh, deco foliage. Let's grab... What do you look like? You're just a bushy bit. Oh, that's not the one I want. You got some color to you. All right, let's come in here. Let's just throw in a little bit of color. want it looking perfect. I want it all like jaggedy and rough and let's bring some flowers in through here. Right, let's go back to smaller brush. Throw some along here.
and then we'll get some along this side. Alright, and then I want to get a few more trees in here. Alright, so what are you in? You are in that transform group. Alright, so let's close let's close this transform group. I can close yeah that transform group. It gives us a little bit of room. Steelcrafter59 is rating with a party of 27. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. We are trying to wrap up the build on the Ritchie Valley map. It's a new 16x heavy, heavy, heavy production map. So I should have it ready for testing by this weekend. I'm really, really hoping. We don't have any... Let's grab a spruce tree for over here. And let me switch transform groups with this tree. Yeah, I want to come up here. So let's go edit, cut, and paste. Yeah, much appreciated on the raid. Uh, so edit. Let's throw a couple of... Let me spin my camera around. And I want to get a few just random trees in this area, just to fill in this grass a little bit. I'm just going to randomly pop a few pine trees in here. That'll finish this area off. Right, so that'll finish this area off. So we have Animal Dealer here. So Animal Dealer here drive through, beehive production in the back, so you can build your beehives back there. And then the barn here is now our bale sales. So if, if let me zoom out really quick if y'all are new to, let me just take my speed up a little bit. Don't have time this morning to do a full map tour. I did that on my last episode. So if you want to jump into Twitch, pull up the last episode and you'll see a, an awesome map tour. But basically we have um, a center mountain surrounded by a valley which is has a lake running through the valley and then there's an outer mountain that runs the perimeter of the map um, all the way around. And this is a heavy, 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 heavy production map. It's going to have about 80 um, global company productions built into the map and you also have to it's got a lot of it's probably gonna have 40 or 50 buildables built into the map so just for instance real quick we have Walmart cell point you'll have access to and it'll be open it'll be it's the only cell point you're gonna have access to for to sell product so say if I have a load of wheat, right now I can only sell it to Walmart. So none of Richie's will have a better price, but you won't have access to none of Richie's until you build it. So the only thing you'll see on this property is the fence. So there won't be anything else in here. So you actually have to... So if Walmart's selling wheat at like 35%. None of Richie's is going to have it at a much better price. But in order to sell it at none of Richie's, you have to build the property first. And that's going to be the same way with every sell point on the map. So if you want the better price, you're going to have to build the sell point. And then the same thing with your fields. You're not going to have access to over half the fields on the map until you actually build the field. So if y'all want to know how the buildables work, catch the last episode on Twitch, my last stream on this map, and you can watch it. Um, I showed you how all the buildables are going to work. I 
I do apologize. I don't have a lot of time to jump into the game today because I really want to knock off my to-do list. This is a big fish farm. Um, so you make your fish bait, take your fish bait to the three fish farms, and you're going to get trout and catfish, and I forget what else is in there. There's a couple different fishes there. So the only area of the map that we have to finish is this little weird shaped piece of the map right here. And then that's the last piece of the puzzle um, on finishing the physical part of the map. So let's look at, we're going, I want to put the um, apiary here so we can get our honey and our wax. I want to leave a little bit of open space, I think, right here. So let's look at... I had something here and I decided to move it. So let's go back to just grass really quick. So I have a blank canvas to work on. So let's just go back to... and I'll get closer to the roads here in a second. Yeah, I had the whole church here and soccer field and daycare and everything else here and I didn't like it. Basketball courts and it looked out of place so I moved it. Right, so let's start with a blank canvas. I have some grass and stuff I'm going to have to move as well. Alright, let me get rid of this as well. Come on. Right, let's get rid of this. Get rid of where's my other? I had like three openings back here, so let's get rid of this. And yeah, back here as well. Let's get rid of this. All right, so somewhere over here, I'm gonna split from the mountain coming up. I'm gonna split this property in half. The front part's gonna be our um, apiary where we make our honey and our wax. The back part of this is going to be an electric substation for the electric for the power grid. So I think we can get these two knocked off the to-do list today. Let me get rid of, can I get rid of this grass? I can. Let me get rid of this mess as well. So I have a clean slate to work on. Yeah, I had like a whole setup here and I hated it and ended up moving it. We'll probably end up painting most of this back in, but I just want to get it out of my way. Yeah, this map has mining built into it. Yeah, you have to put all your own animal pens down. So it's all of my placeables from Richieville, Richie Hollow, Richie Island's map will work on this map. No sawmill built into the map. You have to place your own down. Got a bunch of forests. Let me just get rid of this last couple bits of grass and we can start fresh on this square. I'm going to call it a square. Alright, let's close what I don't need open. So let's close places. Let's go back to Global Company. Yeah, so all of this is built into the map so far. So let's, actually I'm curious. So we have one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 
75, 80, 85, so 90, 95. So we're gonna have we're gonna have over a hundred global company functions built into the map, and over half of those you're gonna have to build. All right, so we are gonna grab. I'm gonna duplicate this blank transform group. This is going to be our apiary, and I'm gonna just throw it like right here for now. Let's go file import. Let's bring the apiary in that I brought out of my other map. So new buildings, we're going to bring the apiary in, we're going to work with it a little bit. So let's go edit, cut, and paste. And we'll see what, we're probably going to end up changing this up a little bit. Uh, let's square it up to minus 90. Actually, it may fit right in there much better. Now we'll put some green space around it. I'll make it work over here. So I definitely want the that I want to finish the power grid like right here behind it because I've got something in mind I want to do for the power grid. I'm really thinking I may want to slide this up and just fill that space in over here. And I can leave a green, like we can leave an open meadow and some green space over here. Right, let's see if I slide you down. Oh, let's try that again. Let's grab the apiary, let's slide you down. Yeah, I think I can fit this over here. It's going to look much better over here. And I could probably, we could change the fencing up a little bit. I want to leave some green space between here and these houses. So this is going to end up with just like a green grassy area with a few trees. I really wanted this back off the road a little bit further though. Actually, yeah, because I'm going to change the fence up a little bit. I can work with this. Let's push this back a little bit further. I'm going to get rid of most of that, some of that fence. Actually, yeah, this is actually we're gonna this will work out really well. That'll leave me room to put my trees along the road. We can get a driveway in and out. Uh yeah, we are gonna work with this fence. So let's pull up let's pull up the fencing. And I'm gonna start deleting what's hidden in the mountain. I didn't want to delete that one. All right, that one needs to stay. What else do we have hidden in the mountain? Come on, give me the fence. So you're there. Right, so you're working your way back towards the mountain. That one, I'm going to delete for now. You're in the mountain, and you're in the mountain. Okay, so I should get rid of all my fences that are in the mountain. This one we're going to change up a little bit as well. Because now I can take this fence section and go straight back. We can run this, actually we can run this like straight back into the mountain. Alright, that works on that side. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to run this straight back. So you, actually I'm going to delete that one. Let's grab this guy. Come on, give me the fence. And let's run you straight back.
All right, that'll work. Now these beehives will appear when you when you deliver the beehives. All these little beehives will appear in the game, so they won't be there until you deliver the beehives here. So I want a little square pad for those to sit on. So let's go to square. And I think we're going to use just rough dirt. So let's give these guys something to sit on. And it doesn't have to be like square and pretty. So I want something for them to sit on. And then I actually think I'm going to do most of this area in dirt. So let me go back to, let me go to my round brush. And let's go with, so we're going to need, so we have to drop our supplies off on this side. So we're going to need driveway in, driveway out. So let's go this way. We're going to need, uh, let's see, we're going to tie you into a parking lot for employees. So we'll put like one car here. So you'll come across this way, and then we'll have a driveway coming out this way. And then you'll be able to come in, drive around, back of the building, pick up your honey and wax, drive back out. All right. So let's also get, uh, no, I think I'm going to grass that in. Now let's do just a little bit of, yeah, let's do a little bit of dirt here so I don't have the grass sitting in front of these guys. So they're not blocked. All right. That will work. Uh, Actually, I want to pull, let me pull this out just a little bit further. Yeah, something like that. And then, do I want to, yeah, let's give you more room to drive around back. The, but let's actually take the grass, let's take the dirt, just straight back to the beehives. And it will come like straight back this way. I, I can live with this. Alright, that'll work. Now back here where the bees are, they're going to pollinate. They need something. So let's go to... Let's go back to our deco foliage. What color are you? Uh, I can live with this. So let's give them some flowers. I'll have their flowers like poking through the fence a little bit. And I'm just going to go, yeah, let's just go with this all the way. So give them some pollination, access to some pollen. Take a quick peek at chat. Yeah, y'all, I don't have two monitors, so I watch my stream on my phone. So I do forget to look over at my phone quite often. Alright. Let's get... Let's get this done. That's going to be our main color. All right, now let's grab some of the other colors. And we'll just like spot some of the other colors in here a little bit. So 
So I'll put some of that color in, put some of this color in. We'll throw some of this color in randomly spot some in here and there. And a little bit of just the crimson. Alright, so we should have something there for our bees. Alright, that will work. Alright, let's get, before I forget, let's grab a parked car. Splines, traffic system, parked cars. And we'll throw one in here. All right, so that will work. So we got our parked car in. Let's finish. Actually, let's grab our. All right. Next thing on. Let's go to the square brush real quick. Um, we need a new farmland for the apiary. So let's go to our farmlands. Let's turn on number 150. Uh, so you're going to be our apiary. And I need bits one, two, four, and seven. So let's go down to farmlands. I need one, two, four, and seven. And let's paint in our. I'm going to overpaint it on the left. So this will be the farmland when you purchase the apiary. And I'm actually going to take it all the way over to here. And I'm, it's going to have a little grass meadow with it. Uh, so this will be apiary country. Alright, so that takes care of the farmland. Let's take care of the rest of the foliage. So I'm going to go down on my speed a little bit now. Alright, let's grab... Uh, uh, let's turn that off. I said turn off. There you go. Let's go back up here. Let's just go to grass. And let's grab some grass. All right, not that big. Let's get our grass in here. And then I had, what do we have over here? Uh, yeah, let's just do some uh, grass under here, like it needs to be cut. And then let's take it all the way up to the houses. This is all the same property.
So this will be if we get once I get this finished, we'll go and do a quick test. And that'll be two more things off the list today. The beehive production will be off the list. Actually, three. The beehive production will be off the list. The barn will be off the list. And then the apiary will be off the list. All right, let me let's work our way back. here. And I'll get along the road here in a second. Let's get most of this filled in. And I'm going to switch over to my round brush. just get a little bit on this side done. I don't know what's going to go there. I think this is going to be open space and then the electric, finish the electric grid. So you're going to have to build all of the power poles and, and lights in the map. If I can get it working properly, I should be able to. You actually have to build the power grid. too far over that way. I just want to finish this property. And just take it back to the mountain. Alright, now let's grab... Alright. So let's close our splines. We'll come down to, we're working on the apiary. So we're done with the fence. Let me grab a blank transform group. Let me duplicate that. So let's go edit, cut, and paste. And you're going to be trees. All right, you're going to be our trees for the apiary. So uh, first thing I want to start, let me go up on my speed a little bit. All right, we're going to grab. All right, the first thing I want to grab is the spruce stage four. And let's move transform groups. So edit, cut, and paste. All right. And I'm actually going to throw some along the mountain as well. So I can have some in with the beehives as well. Alright, so let's line this guy with some trees. I don't mind having some in where the beehives are. So 
let's just throw, yeah, we can throw a few in here as well. And that'll take us out to our next piece of property. All right, so that's going to take care of the mountain. Let's line the road. So we can go, let's go, uh, let's grab one of our, what do I have on the side of the road? We have our birch tree on this side of the road. What size are you? You're stage five. Okay. We want stage five birch. Let's close that. All right. Come down. Uh, birch stage five. Throw you there a second. Let's change transform groups. And let's throw you back here. I'm going to turn you this way. Square you up with the world to 90. And I'm going to get you pretty much lined up with this tree. So they're all e pretty much even coming down. I'm not going to finish this side of the property until I decide what I'm going to do there, but we can finish this side of the property. Do I want to leave it? Now let's just throw a couple more random trees in here. Let's grab our... Let's grab the maple. And I'm going to change transform groups. I'm just going to throw a couple random trees in here. Nothing like any kind of like pattern. I, and I'll finish that side later. All right, I should be good for the trees. Now let me check. Let's close the trees. All right, let's check. Where's the lighting? Sounds. Building F has the lighting. Does it have the user attribute? It does. So they can only come on at night. So we have our user attribute. We have our night on create. Hi. Right. Where is the player trigger? The player trigger is there. I'm going to leave it there. Let's grab our icon. Those tour icons, duplicate that one. Let's throw it here. Let's pull it out of the ground. And this will be our global company marker. You are going to be apiary. Let's go to uh, map essay. Grab another hot spot. You are apiary. You become apiary. And then we'll grab our coordinates. So let's grab our X. Goes here and our Z goes here. Alright, so the hot spots in, that also serves as our global company function. Uh, before I forget, 
let's come back up here. All right, what farmland did we just paint in? We painted in number 150. Let me change this to 150. And then I'm going to do a save. While that's saving, we have to I pull this out of the hollow map. So let's go into uh, documents, let's go to my Richie's hollow map. Let's pull up the 110 and let's find the apiary. This guy. So we'll copy that over to under beehives or us. All right, so we have to change Richie's Hollow. We have to replace that with Richie Valley. And then everything else should be the same. Um, we're going to input our beehives. No, no sugar water on this map. So it's going to be just beehives and pallets. So beehives and pallets, we're going to get our honey and our wax. All right, so that works. That's our 110 done. Let's grab, let's go to Richie's Hollow, Placeables Global Company. Let's go to the new Richie Valley map, Placeables Global Company. Let's grab the apiary and move it over to here. All right, our icon is, has to change. And then we change everything from Richie's Hollow to Richie Valley. All right, we took out sugar water, so let's delete that. So we're going to input beehives and pallets. So this becomes number two. Uh, yeah, let's go to million liters, million liters, input. Uh, we're going to output honey. They are 4,000 liters per pallet. Let's, let's go, let's change this up. Million liters each self-store in the factory. Uh, let's get rid of sugar water as an input. So 60% in, 100% out. I can live with that. Let's go to... eight thousand liters per hour. So we get four thousand liters of honey, four thousand liters of wax per hour. So we have our player trigger, we have our audio, we have our beacon light, we don't use the beacon lights anymore, let's get rid of that. So we have our operating parts, we have our sounds, and then we're going to have our particle systems for our bees. We don't have the water spray, so I can get rid of the water spray. Actually, I pulled this out of the Richieville map, but that's all right. We can use this XML. Actually, no, I want to use the XML from the Richieville map since I pulled it out of that map. All right, we're going to we're going to get rid of the apiary. We're going to get rid of this. I'm going to redo that real quick. We're going to go into the Richieville map. I'm going to go to. I want to grab this apiary XML. And we're going to edit this one. All right, let's change this to, let me change my icon first. I think it's islands plural. Let me check that. Is it island or islands? It is islands with an S. All right, let's change all of Richieville to Richie Valley. 
Alright. Let's come back up top. So we have our input of our beehives. Let's change that. Two million liters. Million liters. Um, so we have beehives and then pallets. It has to be the same order in here. Beehives and then pallets. Alright, that works. Then we have our output for our honey and our wax. So let's up this to a million liters. Let's see, we're on 8,000 liters. Yeah, so 60% and 100% out. We have our bees. Let's check our smoke particles, make sure they're still in. particle systems. We have our smoke and we have our bees. Our bees will fly out of the little houses. So we're good through there. Palette trigger, exact fill root player trigger, audio smoke. All right, I think we're good. Now we just need to check our i3D mapping. Uh, all right, so I saw a visibility note up here somewhere right here. So the visibility node for our beehives when we drop them off is should be 0, 0, and 2. It is. Alright, so that didn't change. Particle Systems Global Company Smoke. Let's check that path. So placeables... Where were we? Uh, particle systems, global company, or we have our smoke particle, and we should have our B particle, and we do. All right, so that shouldn't change. All right, palette trigger is zero, zero, 001. Our exact fill root is zero, zero, 0000. Camera is, yeah, none of this should change. Camera is 6, player trigger is 7, sound is 8. Where's our particle system? Sorry, right, smoke is 3, so that didn't change. Our, so smoke didn't change. Where's our spawners? Spawners are, our spawners didn't change, our bees didn't change. All right, we should be I3D mapped. We should be I3D mapped. We have our farmland painted in. We have our map saved. So XML's done, 110 is done. And that's the other map. I can delete that. Let's close that. So our our we're I th we're our 110 is done. Our XML is done. We have our farmland painted in. And we have all of our user attributes to make this work. Let's do, let me save the map one more time. Grab a sip of coffee. We're going to go in and make sure this isn't throwing any errors. And then I can get three things off my list. Appreciate everybody stopping in today. Haven't seen um, Farm Chick today, so she's MIA today. Unless she popped up in chat and I just didn't see her name. Of all this to say, I'm going to take a quick peek at my stream because I've been having um, internet issues. All right, now we're still good. All right, let's jump into the map. I'm going to make sure that's not having any Lua errors before we move on. 
So let's jump into new save game. If you're new to the channel, please smash that um, follow button. It'll definitely help the uh, channel grow. If you're watching this after it's been uploaded to YouTube, please smash that like and subscribe. It is also totally free. Uh, Farm Chicken Morning, I'm here. Chad is acting up this morning. I hope you see this. I do see this. It could be on my end, too, because my internet's still been wonky since it's been out since since last week when it was out for a couple days. So chat may be acting up a bit. I really need to do is I really need to... Um, probably check my OBS make sure it doesn't need an update I don't want to look at my to-do list yet because I'll probably forget something and have to add something to it. But we're going to ignore the to-do list for now until we get in here. All right, let's grab some cash because we can't save this save anyway. So let's grab a little bit of speed. Before I go any further, we're going to just check the log real quick. Make sure there's no weird Lua errors popped up. with the changes I've made so far today. This is a mod. All right, so we are error free so far. Perfect. So let's jump back into here. Let's throw on our FPS counter because it's still, we got to fix these tables and stuff that are sunk into the ground over here. Uh, let's grab a truck really quick. Uh, what's the color of the day? Let's go with blue today. Alright, let's take a drive down and we'll check out the new apiary. We don't have any beehives made in the map so we can't test it, but we can make sure there's no errors. So everything you see here, if you're new to this map, everything you see fenced in has to be built in order for you to gain access to it. So McDonald's was right there. This is KFC has to be built. So you get about 50 buildables in the map before you can have access to them. That's 7-Eleven. So most of your cell points have to be built. We have three trains. We didn't catch it, but we have three monorails running through the map. And the monorails you have to use to move your workers around the map. So some of your factories are going to require workers. And you're going to have to move your workers around the map with either the bus or the monorail. So actually, let's take a drive through to see what our new landscaping looks like here on our way to the apiary. So let's cut through the animal dealer. We have our beehive production sitting here now. Yeah, beehive production is sitting here. So this actually looks pretty good. And now we have our barn here for your bale sales. So we tested this this morning, so that's working. And if I don't drive off the cliff, let's check out the apiary. So 
So fish farm to our left. So if again, if you're new to the map, these are also everything, some of the stuff that has to be built. So if you want to build area 29 on the map, you have to deliver your goods here. And like I said, go in and catch the last episode from this stream and you'll see how the buildables work. Don't want to take the time today to, to show them off because I really want to get this map done either today or tomorrow. Or at some point by midweek. Alright, so we have our apiary. I don't see anything floating, so that looks good. Let's, since I threw some cash in here, let's grab the farmland it's in. So 196,000. We'll buy you the apiary. Let's make sure the trigger works. All right, no 110 error. So you in, input your beehives and your pallets, you're gonna get your honey and your wax. Nice and simple. So we have our flowers back here. Yeah, our bees are flying out of the hay. So all of our particle systems are working. So you got your bees flying out. When you drop your beehives off, they will appear all through here in game. I, I th I'm gonna call, we're gonna call the apiary good. All right, let me get out of here because we'll spend an hour in the map if I don't get out here. <laughs> Sebastian, did you make any changes to the buses? We did not. The buses need to stay as they are because of the um, visibility node with the workers. So if I mess with the quantity on the bus, it messes up. The people don't show up in the bus properly. So I'm not going to mess with the bus. Uh, Ron, FS19 junk, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. All right, let's jump back in here. So I'm going to call the apiary done. Now, here's the scary part. Let's look at the to-do list. All right, so beehive production's done. That comes off the list. Apiary's done. That comes off the list. Barn is done. That comes off the list. All right, three things off the list today. We have to finish express staffing to make our workers. We have to finish the power grid. Boat splines, stop signs, triggers, and cell points are all that's left. And then I gotta optimize off camera. What's the next biggest project? Power grid. Let's finish the power grid. That's the next biggest project. Now we have our um, power plant over here, but this is a cell point. This is gonna give you income per hour. So I don't want to mess with that at all. We're going to make a little electric substation back here. And this is how you're going to have to build your power grid for the entire map. So you won't even have any of the telephone poles or stop lines in the map. They're all going to have to be built. Now, I am going to make, I think, one or two slight changes to the terrain over here. And then we're going to build a little substation here. And we're going to tie it into the power system for the entire map. I'm debating whether I want to put a windmill or two here. Um, I might, I might, I might grab, all right, which one of my placeable factories has the windmill? Is it the pie factory? I'm not going to spend uh, like all day looking for a windmill. I can pop that in later. So I want to see if I have one in here real quick. 
I took it out of this map. Okay, so I took it out of this placeable. So I did take the windmill that that had one at one point. Let me go into my archives real quick. Uh, did I put it in here? No, I'm going to have to find it. I'll find the windmill off camera. I'll find it while I take my lunch break. I honestly don't know where I put my archives. Uh, old Richieville mods. It, okay. If I can find the old pie factory before it was updated. I don't have it in here. Okay, so that was before. I'll find it off camera. I don't want to spend an hour searching for it. Yeah, I'll find it later in my archives. All right, let's work without the windmill for now. I'll find it during lunch. We'll pop it in after lunch. I think I'm going to take this mountain down a little bit so it's a little bit more flat. If I put the windmills in, we'll flatten that out. I'm going to go without the windmills for now. We are going to grab, actually I'm going to sh switch over to dirt. We're going to start with some rough dirt first. I want. I don't want to build this on the grass. I want to actually build this on the dirt. And we'll paint more dirt in as we need it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a little bit more than that. We can always put the grass back. Let's start off with something like this. I forget which mod I had the windmill in. That's going to bother me now until I find it. I can pull the one out of the Ridgeville map, but it doesn't turn. The one I had in my old pie factory actually spins. So I just need to find it. But since this is an electrical grid, I want this to be I want to start off with dirt. Alright now we're gonna need to work on global company. We're all gonna need to work in Let's close the apiary. We're going to have to work in the power grid XML, which I don't have turned on yet. So none of its user attributes are there. So this is everything so far that's going to build. So you're going to actually, everything that's lit up in green will build. So you will not see them. Once we get this working, you will not see them when you go into the game. Whatever we put here, we're going to add to this group. So this will build with the game. And we'll fence it in and we'll do all that stuff to it. So this is going to take us a little bit to get this built. We may not get, I may not even get it done before lunch. I want to grab... I want to make these like look like they belong together. So I'm going to grab a whole bunch of buildings and stuff from over here. Now I could make this really easy and I could just tie this into the buildable for the power system, but I don't. I want, I want to go a little bit hard. But we're going to probably grab most of these props and reuse them. 
Do I want to grab just like the whole thing and then just delete some of the towers and stuff out of it? I may do that. No, because I, I need them one at a time so they'll build in. Alright, we're going to have to do these one at a time. Right, let's grab this guy. And I just want to slide it over just in case I click accidentally click off of it. Alright, we're going to grab this guy. We're going to go edit cut. It's got to go into visibility. Alright, so that's one. Alright, let's grab this guy. And come down here. So edit cut and paste come back up to here alright so that was group one so that was that let's grab I don't want any of the big towers let's grab one of the substations so edit cut and paste and we'll come back up here alright so that was one of the substations uh, I don't need a water tower we don't need the selling station we don't need any stripes it's not going to have any parking and it's not going to have any of the alright so that should be that should get us started Let's just plop these over here for now so I know where they're at. Alright, so this guy, pop you there. This guy will pop you there. And then this guy will pop you here. Alright, let's see how we're going to tie this mess in. Uh, Alright, let's start with this one. And which way do I want you facing? Oh uh, yeah, let's spin this guy around. Yeah, let's spin this guy around. All right, let's square him up to the world to 90. You're going to come back. Actually, I want to push you back this way. This is going to be pretty much just prop, and then you're going to have to deliver your stuff here to build the power grid with. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that can sit there. And then let's grab this guy. And. Uh, why does it look like it's low? It, because it is low. Alright. How much of this do I want to show and how much to this do I want to hide? That is the question. Where is this guy? Uh, let's leave him here for now. So that's going to be my height. But I think I'm going to turn this guy. We're going to plop him into here. And I'm going to. I'm not. I'm not going to put the uh, windmill. So we're going to leave it like it is. All right. Let's grab this guy. And we should be able to tie these guys in with this mess coming out of the building. Uh, if I don't click off of it. So this guy, yeah, we can tie these in. 
So I'm going to throw like one here. And then we'll tie, we'll go a couple more along here. Floating. Now they're sitting on the ground. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to tie something into the end of this. Let's go back and grab that water tower that I really didn't want, but we'll grab it anyway. So let's come back up here. And we'll grab the water tower. Flop it here for a second. I got to change transform groups. Let's go edit, cut, and paste. All right, let's grab that guy. Yeah, we'll tie it into that little pipe that's going nowhere. We, we can tie that in right there. That'll work. That'll hide that pipe that goes nowhere. Cowboy Mike's, could you have the windmill as a placeable? We can do a placeable windmill that makes money. That makes money. Actually, Stevie has one. Just grab one from Stevie's mods. He's got an awesome windmill that gives you income per hour. All right. So far, so good. Let's grab. Let's extend our dirt out over here a little bit further. We'll tie this back in. Now we have to tie our electrical grid in to the main power system for the entire road system. Oh look, those wires aren't touching. That's not good. I'll have to go back and fix that one. Let's grab one over here a little bit closer. That's, oh, I didn't want the road. Grab this guy. I'll go back and fix that power pole. Yeah, this is the guy I want. All right. Let's duplicate him. Let's push him up this way. So he matches this guy exactly. And then we're going to make some slight changes to it. Actually, no, I'm going to go the opposite way. We're going to slide this guy this way. So I want to tie this into the power grid. Actually, he's going to go like right here ish. Then he's going to get slid over this way. Now we're going to take this guy, we're going to make it a little bit shorter. I'll fix these floating wires here while we're at it. So this guy here, yeah, these have to come back, so they're touching this. All right, that works. Now we take this guy, and I duplicate it. We spin it this way. So it hooks up to those, and then we grab uh, where is it? This guy. And we throw one over here. Uh, let me just spin this way. Yeah, it's easier. So I'll throw one here. We will throw one here. And I want to make these guys just a hair shorter. All 
uh, so these have to go to like 1.35. Yeah, just like that. All right, that's going to tie our electrical system into this mess. All right, so now let's give it a little bit of a road access coming in. You're going to have to come back here to drop some materials off. Need a road system coming in. Right. And then I think this big area up front is just going to be green space. So actually, so now what I can do is I can push. Now that I know where this factory is, let's push this grass back a little bit. And then this will end up being green space. And there's really not going to be any other reason for you to get back here other than deliver materials to it to build it. I'm going to leave it dirt. Uh, let me do a quick save. Papa Rocks, hey old man, how are you doing? I am doing well today. I'm going to have to get out of here soon though for lunch. We have to run to the grocery store. So it's going to be an... Er I'm going to get out of here early. I've got some errands to run. Then we'll come back in and we'll work on this between lunch, after lunch and before dinner. So I honestly don't know if we'll get this finished before lunch. I, I'm going to go to, where do I have a chain link fence I can steal? Let's go down to the BGA for a minute. I think that has a chain link fence. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to steal. Yeah, we're going to steal one of these. Uh, so I'm going to come back up top, I think. Do I have to go up or do I have to scroll down? I think I have to scroll. No, we got to scroll down. Alright. Let's grab chain link fence. And let's come down to the power grid. Uh, not the power plant. Power grid. So we're going to go edit, cut, and paste. Alright, so it has the chain link fence. Now we have to find a pole right here. Let's grab a pole. grab this guy and scroll down yep so let's go edit cut and paste now which factory has a little guard shack 
Let me go over by, I think, either the smokehouse or fish processing may have a little guard shack. if I left it in. Uh, you don't have one. Did I leave a little guard shack over here? I did not. Did I leave a little guard shack over here? I did not. I may not even have a little guard shack in this map. Let's go over by the mines. We have one over here. I don't. Yeah, I do. I want to grab this guy. No, not the trigger. I want the guard check. Alright, so let's come down here. And let's go edit, cut, and paste. And we have a guard shack. Alright, let's go back to our power plant. Or our electrical grid. back over here. Alright, so all right, you're going to go here. You're just going to sit there out of the way for a minute. Let's start with the chain link fence and we'll bring the end element over. Alright, let's start with the chain link fence. Which way do I want to run it? Let's go this way. And we'll just start. I don't want to really run the fan. Yeah, let's just go this way. Let's go this way for now. And we'll come back here. We'll start. We'll tie it into like the mountain. So we'll start it about here. Down on my speed. All right. Uh, where are you? Alright, height wise you should be good. Yeah, that'll work out well. Let's come over to here. Let's bring you this way. And then you can come out uh, sort of this way. And we'll take care of some of this dirt. We'll make the dirt, we'll bring the grass up to the fence. Actually, yeah, this is going to work out really nice. Alright. So let's grab the end element. And we'll get it lined up. down a little bit. Alright, All right, nice. Now let's grab the guard house. And then 
he's going to sort of go... Which way do I want him? Let's put him here. And then let's grab this guy. And then he's going to come over this way. And we'll sort of follow the grass. So the fence will not be straight, the fence will contour to the dirt for the most part. Start curving back a little bit. And that this is the last global company function that's getting built into the map. Yeah, let's go out one more, and then we'll curve it back towards the mountain, and we'll pull we'll pull the dirt out to match the fence line. So you're going to come straight out to here. You're going to curve back. Uh, yeah, and we'll we'll change up the dirt a little bit. So you're going to go straight back. like a little actually I could probably yeah let's carve it back and end it back over this way so let's bring this guy down and we'll bring him along here so I want him to curve over towards this building so he's actually got to come out a little bit further so a little bit more of an angle Yeah, so right there, that's the angle I want. Actually, yeah, we can end him right here. Let's make him a little bit shorter. And then let's grab that end element, because if I leave it just hanging, it's going to drive me nuts. So let's grab another end element. It will drive my OCD nuts if I don't put this end element down here.
y'all will probably never know it's here <laughs> but I want to finish off the fence all right that's going to be our let's grab what are we on am I on dirt or am I on grass let's go back to rough dirt a minute let's just clean this edge up all right and we can go back to grass and then where can how far to the fence do you go? okay I can get one more little strip through here all right so that's going to clean this up what do we have over here uh, yeah let's clean this up a little bit as well And actually, I can push this. I can push this water back a little, or this mountain edge back a little bit as well. All right. Let's grab. I'll start over here. Let's grab a little bit of grass. Y'all, we're almost done painting foliage. We get this square, we get this open meadow done. We are done painting foliage into the map. You know, y'all know how much I hate painting grass in. I'm just gonna get some here. Because I've gotta, before we can finish this and make it work, I've gotta come in game and grab a screenshot so we can make a sign. But I want to get the foliage in, I want to get some couple of trees in. And then we can finish this up. And then we'll do the open meadow. I'm gonna to need to go check. I need I need to take like two minutes here really quick and check in with the family and see what the plans are, what time we're leaving. So I'm probably gonna to have to jump out of here soon ish. I just wanna get the actually we're gonna go all the way along the mountain since this is gonna be green space. And we'll come back and we'll work on the open meadow. We'll definitely do the, the uh, we'll finish up this meadow after lunch. But I want to get enough of this grass and so I could take a screenshot. So we need a sign for the buildable portion of the power grid. So I just want to get. A little bit more of this painted in. Alright, now let's grab. I'll start over here on the edge. Alright, let's go down to forest grass and let's get some bushy bits in along here
we're gonna make it look like nobody's like worked back here for a while. Actually, going to take these take right along here to the bridge, somewhere in there. All right, something like that. All right, now let's come down, back down here. Let's grab on a pine stage three. Throw this guy here a minute. I've got to change transform groups again. So let's go edit, cut, and paste. Alright. I am going to let me zoom out a little bit. Make this guy free floating. I want to get a few in along here. Actually, I wanted the spruce. Uh, make I let me see if I like this tree. I wanted the other one. Now I can live with this one. Make it look a little bit different. Wanted the spruce, but the pine works. Throw some along here. And that will work. Let's come down to Earth and see what this is going to look like. Alright, let's do... Let's do a quick save. I'm going to pop my head out of my bedroom door really quick and see if the family's downstairs or upstairs. Bear with me, I'll be right back. good for now, but I'm going to have to get out of here like really soon. We're going to have to finish this up after lunch. But I want to go in and I want to get a screenshot so we can make our signs. Because this will be buildable. But before we make it buildable, I need to go in-game and take a screenshot because after we make it work, um, none of this will be here. This will be a blank um, area with a uh, construction barrier across it. Alright, let's jump back in game real quick. And new save game. New save game every time till we start testing. Um, Papa Rocks, have a good lunch. Yeah, let me let me wrap up a couple things and then I'm going to get out of here. It's going to be a long lunch thing because we have some errands to run. i got to go to the grocery store. I don't know if we're going to the local store or if we're going to run out to Walmart. I 
So it'll probably be like an I'll probably be gone for like an hour and a half to two hours. I definitely want to try and get as much off the to-do list today as I can. I really, really, really want this ready for testing by the weekend. I've not released my YouTube videos for the day because I'm waiting for one to upload from Twitch and the Richieville episode I recorded Two days ago, it was still not done processing HD. It's still just standard. YouTube has been taking like two to three days to process videos. All right, let's jump in here. Um, I don't need any cash. Let's grab a truck. Uh, what color did we say today was? Blue. All right, let's take a ride down. Because once we get this working, you won't see any of these power poles in the map. So none of the power poles will be here. None of the power lines will be here. None of the telephone poles will be here. The only thing you're going to see are these square boxes as placeholders. So you know not to put a placeable there. So every one of those boxes will be in the map. None of the power grid will be. Until you build it. But I need a screenshot first so I can make the buildable sign. Don't you go squirrely on me. Alright, so now we're into the valley part of the map. We're getting there, y'all. We are getting there. We only have this little section to finish. Then it's, it's stop signs. Uh, boat splines. Um, cell points. And I gotta check all the triggers to make sure they have pallet triggers for the new containers. Alright, sounds like my sister's in the shower now, so I've got about half an hour. Alright, so we are going to have an entrance here for you to drop off your product, like right here. And then none of this will be here, this will all be buildable. So let me, I need a screenshot, so let me get rid of the map. Let me get rid of my F1 HUD. Let me grab some flight. And let's see if I can't get a decent screenshot for our buildable electrical grid. I'm, I'm probably going to grab a few different shots so we can edit them. Let me grab one here. So that was number seven. Let me grab, let me move over a little bit further. And let me grab this guy. All right, that's all I need from in-game. All right, so we need two signs. Alright, 
let's pull up all right, that I can close. What are you? You are the Richie map. I can close you. All right, let's go to Richie Valley signs. Uh, most of these are going to uh, actually all of these are going to end up coming out. Let me grab. Let's grab build area 28. And let's go file export. Let's go to Richie Valley. Uh, signs. And we're going to go build. Uh, all lowercase power grid. So we're built. We're going to build the power grid. And then let me close this one. So let me open this one up for a second. All right. And then we're going to go to open. We'll grab the. Doesn't matter which one I grab. And let's go here. Let's go file, export. Let's go open power grid. And then let's grab that one. All right, so your texture is sign open area 25. So sign open area. It doesn't matter which yeah, open area. It doesn't matter which one I grab. Let's grab no. Yeah, let's grab what? Let's grab this one because I have to rename them anyway. And then let's grab. Actually, I can use that one twice. All right. Let's go. Let's. Go clear this one out. Let's start with a clean slate. All right, let's open up uh, pictures and uh, yeah, I think we're going to use this one. How do I want? Oh, not that one. How do I want to? It's going to look terrible if I shrink it like all the way down. So we're going to have to pull parts of this off. I may use the other one. Let's see what the other one looks like. Or we'll just crop off part of this one. Let's, let me open up that other picture. Yeah. Alright, let's work with part of this one. Try and really try not to cut most, a lot of this off. Let's go with this. Let's go uh, yellow text. Um, was I, I was on the right one. All right, let's go down to like 24 for now. Uh, let me go all caps. Future home of. How do I want to do this? I just think I'm going to run it straight across the top. Power grid. So this will be the future home of the power grid. And I'm going to go, let's go 28. Just a hair too big. 26 works. Alright. So let's go file. Save as. And this one is build 
No, this one is open. So open power grid. So this will be the future home of the power grid. All right, that works. Let's change this one. So this is now open power grid. Let's save that and let's just take a quick peek at that, that sign before we make the second one. So this one was to open the power grid. Should be the new sign. Yeah, future home of the power grid. All right. So let's go back to here. All right. So let us. Do I want to start? Yeah, let's just start with the blank square again. And both of these signs are going to be next to each other. So let's go, let's go back to color picker. Let's go back to black. Old man farming, hello. Thank you for stopping in. Much appreciated. Unfortunately, I'm getting ready to get out of here like super, super soon for lunch. All right, so to build the power grid. Build the power grid. I can go up on font a little bit. That works. So to build the power grid, uh, let's deliver. Uh, this is going to be pretty expensive because this you're not going to be able to build this early game. Um, let's go with. Uh, let's go with seven hundred thousand liters each of the following. Alright, now where is, let me go to my placeable factory for a minute. I want to go to Sparky's. What does Sparky's make? All right, Sparky's makes power pole. So power pole. So power poles, uh, copper wire. Power poles. Actually, I want to change that color up. Let's go to orange. So, power poles, copper wire. So, everything that Sparky's makes, you're going to have to deliver here. You're going to have to make it and deliver here. So, conductors. I may have to make this font a little bit smaller. Conductors. Um, oh, is that it? And lighting. Is that all it's going to be? Uh, lighting. What else do we have in our power poles? I guess that's it. We have our power poles, we have our copper wire, we have our conductors, and we have our lighting. I guess that's really all we need to do just to build a power grid with. Now I'm going to make it work. Since this is going to build with it, let me make you throw in a little bit of concrete. Uh, so let's throw in a little bit of concrete as well. Uh, can't give it to you. And what else do we want to throw in here? 
a little bit of concrete, and let's just throw in a little bit of paint as well. And that'll finish it up. So this is what you're going to have to deliver to build the power grid with. Now I'm actually write that down because we're not going to be able to get this finished before lunch. So I need to know what I did after lunch. 700,000 power poles, copper wire, conductors, lighting, concrete, and paint. All right, so that's what we'll build the power grid with. So let's go file, save as, and then instead of being open, it's going to be build. And then we can change I got a bunch of crap open. I right. um, Sparkies I can close. Pictures I can close. So we go back to here. Nope, I already had it open. So we're going to go to here. So this is now build. Power grid. Uh, so that's going to be that's going to build our power grid. So now if we go back into here, and again all this will be get deleted. I just want to make sure we're completely done with signs before I clean up the files. All right, so that's going to be our sign. Uh, so now we can come back into here. All right, so now we can actually start making this work. All right, so the first thing I'm going to need, let's see where we're at. Close the animal dealer, close places. We're working with, I want to make sure only the power grid is open. All right, so we're done with all the visibility. Now we need to finish the invisibility. The trees won't be here. You won't see them in game until you build it. So none of the trees will be here as well. Where do I, uh, let's start with, uh, let me go to Aldi's or one of my restaurants, KFC Works. Let's go to Invisibility. Let's grab one of the fences. Let's bring it down here. It's got to go into the Invisibility group. And let's get our construction barrier in place. Let's start back here, work our way out. All right, so the first section is going to go here. And we're going to pull it out a little bit. So you won't have access to this area. Until you build it. about here. And you're going to go. How do I want to turn you? If I turn you to zero, square you up with the world, can I get you straight down? No, it's some, no so you're going to have to be built at an angle. Somewhere in there. Uh, I don't like. 
like that. Uh, yeah, let me just turn that a little bit. Coming out too far at an angle. Getting too far away from the trees. Turn this back in a little bit. That'll work. So I'll pull you down, and then you're going to come out. Uh, more of this angle. Yeah, more of that angle. Now I gotta figure out where we're gonna drop our product off. These trees won't be here, but they're gonna start building. They'll actually build last. I think we're gonna come, yeah, we're gonna come out one more. I wanna leave enough room to put the triggers in. Come up to about here. And we'll come across. And if this doesn't have enough, if we don't have enough room for our triggers, we're not going to have enough room for our triggers. Let me push this back a little bit further. We can push this fence back. And actually, I'm going to push this fence back. That's not going to give me enough room for the triggers. you right there. Alright, let's go file, import, uh, build the power grid. So we got to come all the way up top. Uh, let's go edit, cut, and paste. I want, yeah, we're going to put these two signs side by side. So let's go File, Import, Open, Power Grid. And you're going to go here. Now, Try and get it about the same height as this guy. Uh, so this will be the future home of the power grid. I actually want these up a little bit higher. Uh, so that will be the future home of the power grid. And it's going to tell you what you need to deliver. Alright, so now I need... Um, where do I want to go? Let's go up. Let's go to Dollar General. All right, I need let's go to invisibility. I need 
I need from warning stripes. Yeah, I'm gonna I need warning stripes. I need the warning stripes. I need the exact fruit. Yeah, I need these four. Let me duplicate those. And then let's go edit, cut, and paste. Alright, so let's get the warning stripes down first. So this is where you're going to have to drop off your product to build the power grid. Let's grab the exact fill root. And then this has to come downwards just out of the ground. That's going to go here. Let's go palette trigger is going to go here. So it'll accept the pallets or containers. And then we need the player trigger. So you get your global company menu when you walk up to the signs. So when you walk up to the signs, you're going to get your global company menu as, and it's going to tell you what you need to build the power grid with. All right. That should be all the working parts, almost. Now I need, let's close KFC. Let's close parts of Dollar General. All right, so now I need a camera. So let's go edit, cut, power grid. And we're going to stick it here. It's going to disappear out of the game once it's built. So that's just a temporary camera that has to be there for a global company. And actually, I'm going to stick it off to the side. All right, temporary camera so you can see just a requirement of global company. Um, old man, are there going to be cargo containers and how much are they going to hold the normal... Yeah, it's going to be exactly the same. The ones that's built into the map is going to be exactly the same as Ritchie, Valhalla, and Islands. Um, got a headache today, but otherwise I am good. Thank you. Yeah. Dixie, I am getting ready to get out of here though for lunch. I got some errands to run. So basically, the only thing we have to left to finish is this. I'm going to leave this a grass meadow in front of the power grid. So we'll finish that up after lunch. Then it's we have to finish express staffing for the workers, boat splines, stop signs, cell points, and then we have to check all the triggers in every single factory in the map to make sure they accept the pallets so they accept the containers. So we're going to be adding some pallet triggers in. And that's it. I'm hoping to have it ready for testing by the weekend. Alright, so this should be everything that we physically need in the map for the power grid. Now, it's going to have to be the same farmland as Center Mountain, which I think is number 25. Let me check that real quick. Farmland, so number 25, I think is Center Mountain. It is. Let me just double check that. So let's go to Farmlands. And number 25 are what bits? Uh, 0, 3, and 4. Yeah, okay, so this actually has to get painted the same as Central Mountain. So let me just zoom out here a little bit. So Central Mountain should all be white, perfect. So we're just going to extend this out a little bit. I'm going to overpaint it, and then we can clean it up once we get to our grass meadow. So this is going to come along here. So this will all be part of Center Mountain when you buy it.
Alright, so that'll take care of the farmland part of it. Alright, which factory are we going to copy? Right, let's go to our 110. So this I'm done with, this I'm done with, this I'm done with, that I'm done with. Let's go to our 110. Which XML are we going to copy? We have six inputs. I can actually use this one. So let's copy this one. Let's paste it in here. Now what do I have it labeled as in here? Because it has to be exact. Uh, so it's power grid capital G. So we have to change farm one to power grid. All right, and then we have to change this to power grid. If I can spell. So that'll be the power grid. It's going to be a project. And then this is going to be power grid. Um, now, we are adding in. So power pole. Crap, how is it spelt in the fill types? All right, hold on, y'all. i got to find the fill type. Control find. All right, it's power pole capital P singular. So I need... Power pole, oh, what was it? Power pole with a capital P. Uh, so it's going to be power pole, copper wire. I think copper wire is capital W. So copper wire. And then we have conductor. Uh, I'll just grab it from here. So we'll have conductor, and then we have lighting, so lighting, and then we'll have concrete and paint. And then we're going to get rid of 7 and 8. So that's going to be our inputs to build the power grid. Missing the O. Am I missing an O in 7,000? Or was I? Was my sign messed up? Oh, we are missing an O. Crap. Uh, all right. Color picker, black. Good catch. It's I haven't had I'm only on my second cup of coffee today. Um, I'm gonna have to all right, let's do this. And then let's go back to text. Uh, seven liters each. Good catch. Alright, let's go file, save as, save. That'll overwrite the one in the game. So if we come down here and I click on the sign, give me the sign and I hit reload textures. There we go, 700,000 liters each. Good catch. Um, do you want me to send the log so I can take a look at it if you want? Yeah, but I am gonna be gone for a couple hours. I can take a look at it after lunch. Yeah, but the power grid is going to be late game. And you can... Oh, 
yeah, either 100,000 liters per container, seven containers, it works. Power grid is going to be something you're going to build late game. I want this to be, I want you to work for it because it's actually going to build the entire, let me go up, let me come up here. Let me come up here. Let me show you. It is going to build the entire power grid for the entire map. So it's actually going to build the entire power grid for the entire map. So it's going to build every single power pole, every single light pole on the entire map. So that's why it's a little bit more expensive. All right, so that's going to be our power grid. All right, y'all, I have to get out of here for lunch. I do apologize. I'm going to throw y'all on ending soon. I don't want her to <laughs> leave without me. <laughs> but I do apologize for getting out of here relatively quickly. I'm going to save the map and close it. I would say give me about an hour and a half to two hours. And we're going to finish up as much as we can today. I'm going to work from the time I get back right up till dinner time. And we will finish this up after lunch. Um, old man farming, goodbye for now. Farm Chick says, have a great lunch. Papa Rock says, thanks. Snyren, no problem, have a great lunch. Yeah, pri I'm sorry for getting out of here relatively quickly, but I've, I've, I gotta run out. Don't want her to leave without me. So I'm just waiting for the map to save so I can close it. Dixieland says, later, y'all. Got to put the y'all in there. Come on, save and close any time now. All I've got is the spinning wheel of death. Alright, now the spinning wheel of death is over. Alright, map is closed. I'm going to get out of here. Um, Cowboy Mike says later. Yeah, catch, give me about an hour and a half to two hours. I'll be back.